MSI, why were you hiding this from me? Because even though I praised the other motherboards this generation, such as the Tomahawk or the Pro A, about the great value they provide, turns out there's another one I missed, the MSI Z790 Gaming Pro, which is even cheaper than those boards. But what exactly did he sacrifice by going with a cheaper MSI Z790 option? Well, when it comes to the power delivery, here you get 14 plus 1 plus 1 power phases rated at a maximum of 55 amps, which, while definitely a downgrade compared to the other MSI models we could on the shower thus far, let's be honest, Literally no one cares. It's still more than enough for the most high-end CPUs and most people, unless they're avid overclockers, really won't notice the difference. So again, it really doesn't matter. But then moving into PCIe expansion, here we notice something pretty interesting. Because you do have a primary PCIe Gen 5 slot, two additional 16x but actually 4x Gen 4 slots, and two PCIe 1x slots running at Gen 3. That is actually more than a Tomahawk and Pro A variants, even though it costs less. Who even needs that many PC expansion slots in a motherboard that is so cheap? I don't know, but if you're out there, this motherboard is for you, you crazy PC builder you. And not too storage wise, it's pretty standard for a motherboard in this price range with three full Gen 4 slots, which is just, I don't know, fine. Though it does only have four SATA connectors, which, well, again, I'd love to complain about it like I've done in most of my previous videos. At this point, the tech industry actually kind of wore me down. I honestly can't bother then, let's be honest. Most people won't be using more than four SATA drives anyway. Finally, there's the rear I.O., which is probably the most interesting. It has the same seven USB Type-A connectors as the Pro-A, which is one less than Tomahawk, which should still be enough for most people, and you'd also have a single USB Type-C 20 gigabit per second port. However, you do lack integrated display port for some reason, even though the integrated HDMI is kept. But probably the thing that makes the least sense, which you probably already noticed, is the networking situation. Yeah, that's right, that's two RG45 ports in a budget motherboard. Why? I don't know. MSI do move in mysterious ways, apparently. Yeah, that's right, you get both a 2.5 gig and a 1 gig Ethernet port in this motherboard, which again, while I have no idea what kind of consumers at this budget need it, it's available if you do, and it's paired off nicely with Wi-Fi 6E as well, and a full array of audio options. However, it does use the step-down ALC897 codec, which while definitely some audio files will say this is worse than being tortured, it is still fine for most people, if still a step-down from the better codecs present on higher-end MSI motherboards. So if you just need any Z790 motherboard and you're strapped for cash and every single penny matters, I can totally see how this motherboard can make sense. And in fact, it has something that other MSI motherboards we covered here previously don't, and there's any amount of style to them. Now, don't get me wrong, those motherboards do look nice in the minimalism, but this one at least has a bit more of that gamery flair, which, you know, seeing how it literally has gaming in a name, Kinda makes sense. Not only do you have some interesting stuff going on on some of the heat sinks, but you also have RGB, which crazy concept, I know, a motherboard having RGB. So hey, it's cheaper and it has fancy LEDs. What's not to love? And if you love it enough to buy it, then our links to it from Amazon and Newegg are gonna be down in the video description below, where you'll also find a Patreon, which helps keep this channel afloat, so you better check it out before I go trip you anymore. Plus also huge thanks to our existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Vronjak, Dev Panda, Barash Volker, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Level Up. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I'll make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.